guys. We're at the airport lounge, headed on our way to China. It's pretty good. The vegan options are quite li limited, but I'll make do. I'll make do. They offer Coors Light and Molson Canadian. That's it. I don't know if I would consider it a premium lounge, but what can you do? It's the best that you can offer. Yeah, we got uh, one flight to San Francisco, and then we're going to Seoul. And then we're going to Dalian, China. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of uh, airport lounges to visit. So this is the first one. So here I have a fried chicken sandwich, and Adam has a Beyond Burger sandwich. We're in our first stopover in San Francisco. Seoul, South Korea, and it's way nicer. Check this out. I got two sandwiches, vegan, salad, pasta, and double espresso. Delicious. And now they say yummy too. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Not, not true? Not true. many new stores that I've never seen so it's kind of nice it's kind of nice check this out okay. it's huge huge mall beautiful skylights wow look at that so some kind of nuts and bulk barn shop three levels Large skylights. There's Teresa. Oh, McDonald's Cafe. Should we see what they have different at the McDonald's? Yeah, sometimes they do. In each country you go to, there's yeah. something unique. It looks like they got the shrimp burger. Nobody wants that, but I like it. this is looking like a shrimp burger, right? Yeah, it looks like shrimp, as you can see here. Yeah, yeah. But it's like KFC chicken bucket here yeah, as well. Yeah, bucket of chicken. chicken yeah, wings bucket here. of chicken. Uh, they have strawberry flavored uh, ice cream flavors. Strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Wow, wow. Look at this. Look at this. 
Toys base. Look at all these toys. Let's go look at the toys. Some cool cars. Stumbled upon uh, some kind of goat store. They're feeding the goats. There's goats here. I don't know why, but there's goats. Look, 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 look. Goats love that. Oh! Wipeout. This goat is going around looking for food. And there's also cats inside of a glass container. There's a little dragon there. Yeah, look, this is Lego, Chinese New Year Lego. It's got the dragon, it's got a China place, and that boat with the timer on the date, and Mickey Mouse, of course. For the spring festival. All right, now we're going to the outdoors at this mall to see uh, a shopping street outdoors. Looks like this. What do you like to eat here? Um, some shrimps. Shrimps, of course. It's your favorite food. Dot coffee, we got white tank, we got chub, my dao, we got this place. Whatever's going on here. This some kind of soups. Old tab. Old tab. Frog? Frog 11? What is Frog 11? It is. Look at this. I think like, people just don't want to see the walking video. We can just look at the streets, you know? They want to see us talking about stuff. So this is us, we're walking in this. It looks like, uh... It's supposed to be old, but it's very new. Mm -hmm. Like everything is looking brand new, like these shops. But it's in an older kind of style, like small retail shops. So I feel like these days they're building these shops like so huge. Like we need more small shops. Like why do we have to have such huge shops all the time? You know, give yeah. the little guy a chance mm -hmm. because no one cares about these big corporate shops. Like they want us, they want the small shops. These are the ones where the, there's good food. There's good, because it's just different, you know? The little guy can make something different, not the same KFC, Taco Bell, McDonald's. You know, we want these small, it's just small shops, like. I just think it would be much better in this world if we could just embrace small food and beverage retail locations. Look at this one, watch. Look at the size of this place, okay? This is all you need. This is all you need to make, to make great products. Tiny shop. Look at this. I'm a giant. <laughs> We got this stick with fruits. Watch where you're stuck. Stick with the fruits. Here, it's got sugar on it. There's a permanent. Carnival, but it's not running at the moment. I guess maybe at nighttime. Yeah, it's the winter right now. People do their physical activity here. Yeah. 
Bumper cars. Bumper cars. Where I used to work. Bumper cars. Yeah, just going for a stroll. Hell. Heart. Nice. Good. Smile. Show. Vegan. Yeah, you're like this vegetable dish. Menzi. Yeah, we're gonna eat this. Let's see how it is. This is a traditional Dalian dish. Menzi. It's good. It's made out of vegetables. Purely vegetables. <laughs> it's like a burrito. It's called tambien, and it has usually ham and um, a ham and egg inside. Look over there, but yours doesn't have it, so it can be made vegan, full of vegetables and tofu. Yep. All right, now we're here in some kind of mall, night market, and I really got a craving for some kind of bubble tea but nobody has plant-based bubble tea it's impossible to find but we'll keep looking now we're in a shop it's like this got slipper knobs and ding dongs everything you need thanks guys for watching our video and that was part one of our series, Foreigner Goes to China. Follow us along for part two.